Urban Adventures, welcome to another episode. I am here with my brother-in-law and my little nephew right here. I don't know if you can see him. I don't know if the camera angle is good enough, but yeah, we're now we're at a local community hall and we're catching a lot of crappies and bluegills and there's a lot of fish underneath us right now. And uh, we're just gonna basically out here just hanging out, having fun, bringing my brother-in-law for his first trip and my nephew for his first like, ice fishing trip of the season. So yeah, so yeah, make sure you guys wave, guys. Yeah, wave, Levi. Wave, Levi. Wave at the camera. I don't know if they can see you, but yep. Hopefully they can see your hand. Yeah, we're just going to go have some fun and uh, just, just be a real nice, relaxing day. And, oh, you hear the ice cracking. A car just drove by. Anyways, yeah, make sure you guys uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. And let's get on to the video. Let's go catch some fish, guys. My oh, man, I got one. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Oh, nice. I was staying on the one to eat that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, there he goes. You got one, Levi. Oh, my man, you got one. Nice. All right, just throw it underneath. Yep. Oh, there he goes. Oh, Good job. Good job, Levi. <laughs> <laughs> See where mine is. Okay. Go a little bit further down. Oh, I have one on. Oh wow. <laughs> well, this one's fighting good. Oh, look at that bluegill. This wow. is called a bluegill. I'll step on it. Wow, look at that one. I'll step on it. <laughs> no. This is what your grandpa wants to eat. He said, "Grandpa, what? yeah, your grandpa said to save some of this for him." Oh, bluegills? Yeah, bluegills. Look at that. Whoa, look at that, Levi. Beautiful fish. That's what it looks like. It's, That's it's, the one thing yeah. it's got the black ear. It's got like the greenish color when I it's... I want to take that home. Yeah, we can take it home. Yeah, we'll take it home. I yeah, it's take, a good size. I want to take it home before I did it to uh -huh. Uncle Sing. Yeah, oh, yeah? Uncle Sing likes bluegills, too. Oh, yeah? Sometimes when you see that the fish come up to, towards your bait, but they're not committing, just kind of bring it up a little bit and then just shake it right, right above them. And just keep on doing that until they bite or they just go back down. Oh, I just had a bite. Oh, there you go. You got one. Levi, pull. <laughs> Get it. You got it. There you go. Uh oh, there oh, it goes. It's a small one. <laughs> You got another small one, just like mine. Okay, let me see it. Let me see it. Yeah. Let me get it off. <laughs> Good job. I'll throw it back. Yep. Yeah, you can throw it back. You want, oh, you want to throw it back? Here, put your finger in the, the thumb in the mouth. Thumb. Your thumb. Your thumb. thumb. Your thumb. No, that's your finger. That's your Levi. pointer finger. Levi, your thumb. Your thumb. Yep. yep. Grab it tight. Okay, walk up to the hole. Walk up to the hole. Or throw it all. Yeah, good job. Yeah, that was pretty accurate. All right. Good job. All right, guys. As you can see, I have a new Eskimo Fat Fish 949 insulated. Yeah, this is my old clam C360 right here. I'm going to set it up and do a size comparison. And the uh, reason why I upgraded to the Eskimo. I could have gone with another clam, but the Eskimo is on sale for a good price and I couldn't pass it up, so. So I'm just gonna quickly set up the clam for you guys so we can do a size comparison. Alright guys, I'm just gonna have my brother help me. Cool, thank you. Yep. Well, I'm just gonna tie this one right here. Just be careful so you don't trip. Yep. Alright guys, what do you guys think? From the looks of it, that clam actually looks a lot bigger than the Eskimo. Well, I think the floor plan 
is a lot bigger on the Eskimo than the clam. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to upgrade because it's got a bigger floor plan. And I could actually fit two cots in there. I have two Cabela's cots that I can actually fit in there. And for the, for the clam, I can only fit one barely fitting in there. So, but yeah, let's uh, take you around and uh, let's go look inside. All right, this is the clam. So this is inside the clam. It's actually a real nice setup too. I do have LED lights in here set up which I'm going to be transferring into the Eskimo. And uh, this I might keep to use as a kitchen area for when I camp out. Because it's actually got enough room for a small table. I could put a table, a stove, and even a little small Mr. Heater in here. And this is pretty tall too. I'm five feet five and my hand is not even reaching the middle of the hub yet. But yeah, let's go take a look at the Eskimo. My brown line there is in there fishing in there right now. But yeah, we'll go take a quick look. Alright, this is inside the Eskimo 949. This is the army cot that I can put in here. I can actually fit two of them in here. For the clam, I can't even fit two. So I can fit one on each side, pop some holes in the middle, and we're good to go. For right now, this is how we kind of have it set up right now. My little nephew, my brother in law, got the Mr. Heater going. So yeah, I'm excited about this one. This one's got much more bigger floor plan. I think it was eight feet or close to eight feet, something like that. While the clam has only six and a half or something like that. But <laughs> otherwise, yeah guys, this is this is the new camping setup. The Eskimo Fatfish 949i. So next time you see me when I'm ice camping, I'm gonna be sporting both of these out on the ice. Kitchen and living space. <clears throat> this has been a real nice hub too though. I do like this hub. It is insulated, which is really nice. But anyways guys, let's go back to fishing. Let me grab the flasher from you. Okay. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna teach you how to use this. Dope. All right. So this is your line. Yeah. It's gonna make it shorter. Sometimes it gets too long. So pretty much you just set it in here. We're gonna go through it two times. One times is uh, usually the white letters, the white numbers. So you got a time two times. So right now it's uh, pretty much you're doubling this number. So 12, that'd be 24 feet right here. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. So all those marks are fish. So you're just gonna uh, drop your line. One? Yeah, green, red. Those are all fish. Then you see your line coming down right there. That's your bait right there. Because oh, yeah, dude, so if you awesome. yeah, so if you move it up and down, yeah, that's your bait right there. And those greens are probably just bubbles from moving up. Yep. So yeah, you're just gonna keep on moving that down until you see like the first mark right there. You could try that one. Yeah. Oh man, the wind is brutal. I thought you just kind of jiggle it. Oh, oh, you see, the fish just came up for it. You know, I just wait to see it, your tip to go down. So if you move up, you see the fish come up. 
Yeah, you see how that one's coming up right now? Yeah, so there you go. So you just got a fish. Oh, oh yeah. cool. So, yeah, that's how you use a flasher. So I'll let you uh, play around with that so you can get used to it. Oh, oh I came off. That's yeah. all right. I know, cool, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if your holes freeze, yeah, just kind of stick your boot in there. Just kind of, yeah, swish it around and go from there. Yeah, when you're fishing in the cold like this, have your back towards the wind. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to fish without having a flasher. Okay, my line is all the way down to the bottom. I know because uh, the line is now, actually, it's still dropping. Now my line is slack, so I know that the line is in the on the bottom now. And from there, I just want to reel it up a couple of reels. So I know that it's at least a few inches off the ground. And then I'm just gonna slowly jig all the way up. Or until a fish bites. Oh, and I got a fish on. Got a fish on, guys. Oh, it feels nice. What have we got here? Oh, it's a nice crappie. Yeah, this fish is all the way on the on the on the bottom too. Look at that, guys! Beautiful fish. It's definitely a keeper. So it's gonna free spool all the way down to the to the bottom. It's gonna take a little bit since I have a smaller tungsten jig on. If you pay attention, you'll see that all of a sudden it's kind of stops spinning and then the line becomes slack. That's when you know that you hit the bottom. All right, you see that? And they stopped and the line went slack. So now they hit the bottom. Just gonna give it a couple of reels. Yeah, that's when I start, start working my magic. Reel it up, give it a couple of turns. Oh, and they got another fish on. <laughs> and that's how you fish without a locator. This one's a little smaller, so we're gonna let this one go. Well, on a day when it's not windy and it's not cold, man, it is it is so much fun, much much more fun. Oh, so tiny now. Seems like all the small ones caught up to us again. There he goes. Got him. Got him. This one feels small too. Yep. Guys, this is how cold it is. It hasn't been five minutes and this fish is like frozen solid already. Wow. It is in the single digits today. All right, Urban Adventures. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. We had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, fish I for did. crappies. My brother-in-law caught his first crappie and uh, my nephew, I mean, they were hammering it earlier. And then all of a sudden all the fish just kind of disappeared. So. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this episode. Uh, I did a little quick, quick a view of uh, and both. And battery fell in the water. Yeah, my battery fell in the water. So <laughs> the Escobar 949, which I really love, and then compared to my Clam 360C, which I still love too, but just the floor plan is just not big enough for what I like it for. So, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, like this episode, and we'll see you on yeah. the next next episode. And uh, make sure you follow your dreams, follow your passion, make it happen. Yeah. So, all right, say it. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to Wild Urban Adventures. Yeah, because you guys got it. <laughs> Catch you guys on the next video, guys. Yeah.